Hey guys, Eric with ExpressGarageDoors.com. Um, we're gonna go over why your garage door will only open if you're holding the opener button down. This is a common thing. It happens all the time. Um, you may not know because people don't think to hold the button down, but what it is is safety sensor issues. So these little guys right here, they will get bent out of place. So let's say I'm put, putting the kid's bike away and I bend this out of place a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna have to hold it down to open. These things are for safety, so you don't close the door on a child or yourself or your car or whatever. Um, they do commonly get misaligned. I've had it happen to me before. Um, other stuff you wanna check, blocked sensors. So if I leave this ladder here, it's probably not quite in the way. I move it there, it's blocking the sensor. Even though it's not actually gonna really block the function of the door, it's blocking the sensor and the door will not close without you holding it. Um, the next thing is wiring, checking bad wiring. Um, not typical, but again, if you're moving stuff around in your garage and all of a sudden you've got to hold the button down, that's probably what it is. We'll open the door real quick so we can talk about the next one. All right, this next one, it gets me, not here, but at our warehouse. It gets me all the time. And that is sunlight in the sensor. So kind of to illustrate this, you don't see it here yet. Sun's on the wrong side. But if the sun was that way and shining into that sensor, there's a really good chance that this door is not going to open and close properly. Um, even if you block the sensor with a piece of cardboard or something to uh, kind of shade it out, a lot of times it still won't work. Um, I don't really know why that is, but it's not super uncommon for that to happen. Uh, again, it happens at our shop all the time. At a certain time of year, the sun hits the sensor just right in the mornings and the warehouse garage doors won't open and close because of that. Um, oh, they'll open, but they won't close. Other causes, uh, defective sensor. So once you've checked the alignment, the wiring, whether maybe you're driving around the mud and you come back in and your tires fling some mud on the sensor, make sure the sensors are clean and then make sure there's no direct sunlight shining in the sensor. This one's in the sun, but it's not direct enough. The sun's not low enough to really hit the face of that right to cause a problem with it. So it's not going to be an issue um, for this, but it, it, I've seen it happen multiple times in our own doors. So, um, so once you've checked block sensors, misaligned sensors, bad wiring, you know, your wiring goes from your wall button. Sometimes it'll be exposed and go all the way through the ceiling of the garage. Sometimes it will be uh, inside the wall like it is here. Um, you won't be able to see that kind of stuff, but it's just very unlikely that that has uh, had an issue. You know, it's nothing's in your walls, hopefully chewing through wires or breaking wires. See that door? I tried to make it go down. The safety sensor was blocked by the garage door opener. Um, now I'm gonna hold it down. Door closes as long as I'm holding that button down. If you're doing that, make sure nothing's in the way because your door could close on something that uh, could throw it off the tracks. Sometimes these openers do have sensors, 99% you know, of openers have sensors in them to uh, go back up if they hit something, if they detect uh, an impediment by you know, actually coming down on a car or something, they'll go back up. But uh, just in case, just make sure it's cleared out. The only other option is um, if you have to hold that down is if you checked all the other boxes off is a bad sensor it happens um we sell them they're sold pretty much everywhere 
depending on what your door type is, um, check out our website, expressgaragedoors.com. Um, we've got replacements for a lot of doors and make sure you check that other stuff off the box because I bought safety sensors before because I thought it was broken and it was just slightly misaligned and that was causing the issue. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you've got any other questions, leave comments, try to answer them and uh, like and subscribe. ExpressGarageDoors.com for your garage door part needs. Thank you.